Glory to God Almighty, the one who lives and reigns forever. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I welcome you to the month of November. The word of the Lord says in Psalm chapter 1, 18, verse 24, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So we say today that this is the month that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, one of the greatest ways to start your month is to start it with the Lord, committing your life, that of your family, and everything that concerns you to the hand of the Lord. And that is what we will be doing this moment. We are going to command the month to obey us and give to us all that God has for us this month. As we go to God in prayer, I want you to receive every word spoken with faith because our words have the power to set the cause of our month in the right direction. Now join me, let us pray, Lord Jesus. I come before you with a heart filled with gratitude. I thank you for your boundless love and the numerous blessings you shower on me daily. Your love is a beacon of hope that guides me through life's darkest storms. And for that, I am eternally grateful. As I reflect upon the journey from January until now, I am overwhelmed by your grace that has kept me. You have been my constant companion, my rock and my salvation. Lord, I praise you for your unwavering presence in my life. Heavenly Father, as I stand at the threshold of a new month, I humbly come before you to commit the month of November into your hands. Lord, I ask that you take charge and control of this month. May your divine presence be a guiding light, leading my way, and may your wisdom be my compass in the decisions I make. I declare with unwavering faith that this month will be a time of abundant blessings in my life. I ask that you shower your blessings and favor upon me and extend your grace to my family. Your word says in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 6, Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. Lord Jesus, I declare that my coming and going are blessed by your almighty hand. I place my trust in you and I declare your protective and guiding presence over every aspect of my life. You, Lord, in your infinite wisdom proclaimed in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 8, that you would command blessings on your people in their storehouses and in all they set their hands to. In this new month, I declare that the works of my hands are blessed and everything I undertake is infused with your divine favor. I ask that you bless my endeavors, both big and small. In particular, I declare a supernatural blessing upon my business like never before. May it flourish and prosper abundantly, becoming a source of blessings to many. I pray that you bless my customers, Lord, so that they have the means to support my business. Heavenly Father, I lift up the shield of faith and invoke your protective hand to be upon me and my family throughout this month. Your word assures us that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We take refuge under your protective wings, Lord, confident in your shielding presence. May the eyes of the evil one be blind to our paths and may no weapon formed against us prosper. I declare that Every tongue that rises against us in accusation or harm, we condemn in the mighty name of Jesus. Your protection is our fortress, and we place our trust in your unwavering care. I plead the precious blood of Jesus upon every corner of my home and upon every member of my family. The blood, which speaks better things than the blood of Abel, let it speak blessings, favor, and prosperity over us. Let it be a shield against all harm and a source of divine protection. We are covered by the blood, and in its sanctifying power, we find refuge. King Jesus, I speak over my finances, Lord. I place them in your capable hands. I declare that this month will witness a financial miracle in my life. The eyes of the evil one will be far from my finances, and my finances will only be used for good to support your work and spread the gospel. I declare that I will have more than enough to give and be a blessing to those in need. 
May my financial resources be a source of divine provision and a testimony to your abundant blessings. For my health, Lord, I look to you as the source of all well-being. Your desire for us is to be in health and prosper. I declare that I prosper in my health, living in soundness and wholeness. Every fiber and tissue of my body works properly and my mind is sound and at peace. Sickness and infirmity have no place in my life, for I am covered by your healing love and grace. I place my trust in you, the great physician, to guard and preserve my health. Father Lord, I yearn to serve you better this month than always. Strengthen me to serve in your presence with a heart full of devotion. May my desires be aligned with your will and may the cares of this world not distract me from my pursuit of you. Instead, I draw closer and closer to your loving embrace, eager to know you more deeply and to be a vessel for your purpose. Help me to prioritize time spent in your presence, whether through prayer, meditation on your word, or acts of service. Let my heart long after you and may my life be a pleasing offering to you. I pray that you remove any obstacles that hinder my service and replace them with opportunities to bring glory to your name. Grant me the strength, wisdom, and discernment I need to be your faithful servant. Lord, I also lift up those who are less fortunate, those who are in need of your grace and provision. May I have a compassionate heart to reach out to them and be a blessing in their lives. Guide me to use the resources and talents you have blessed me with to alleviate the suffering of others. May my actions reflect your love and grace, and may I be a living testament to your goodness. King Jesus, as I go about my daily work, I ask for your favor to be upon me. May I find favor in the sight of my employer, and may the tasks I undertake flow smoothly with your guidance. Lord Jesus, I bring to you my aspirations, especially the desire for a promotion. Lord, I trust that this month will be the time when my dedication and hard work are rewarded with the promotion I so desire. I offer this request to you with a heart full of faith and hope, knowing that you are the source of all blessings and advancement. Lord, I also pray for those around me, my friends and loved ones. May your blessings extend to them as well. May you grant them good health, happiness and success in all their endeavors. Bless their homes and families just as you have blessed mine. Finally, Lord, I ask for the strength to face any challenges that may come my way this month. Give me the courage to persevere, knowing that with you by my side, I can overcome any obstacle. May I grow spiritually and draw closer to you with each passing day, recognizing that my strength and blessings come from you alone. Father Lord, my heart filled with gratitude and faith. Lord, I believe that you will fulfill the desires of my heart and bless this month of November beyond my imagination. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing my prayer and for your continuous love and grace. In your precious name, Jesus, I pray, amen. If you are blessed by this prayer type, thank you, Jesus, in the comment section below. I declare that God bring to pass all that you have spoken in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Dear brothers and sisters, you can help us to reach more people with this powerful message and spread the gospel. You can do so by sharing this video with a friend or a family member who you know needs the blessing of this prayer and by clicking the like button. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus be with you all. Amen.